Hi. Hi, Marisa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time for Colombia. And we want to start by asking you, um, your character, Detective Maria Baez, has involved a lot through the series. And what has been the most significant development for her? And how have you approached it as an actress? I think um, when, when Maria was first introduced, she was very sarcastic and dry. And we didn't know much about her. And I didn't know that I was going to be there longer than those two weeks. And so over the years, we get to learn a lot of different things about her family, her past, why she became a cop. And most importantly, I think we, we get to see all these layers peeled back and we get to see the warmth and the heart that she has and the, the love that she has for her partner and for her new daughter that she adopted. She realized she wanted something more out of her life than just her job, which is, you know, that's a that's a big realization and to actually follow through and make that happen and and she did it and then to develop the the work life balance that she navigated through um all while you know just having the warmth and the heart and still the strength that was that was a long journey for her to be able to show and it's such a great journey and i'm i'm really proud of of where she ended up that's amazing. And what new elements will this last season of Blue Bloods bring? We know that there's going to be a lot of changes for a lot of characters. Will characters return and how will the family dynamic will be in this last season? I think there are going to be some surprises and some tears and happy tears, sad tears. Uh, it's a lot of the same but with more heart there there's a you know the reagans are always they're just great people they're good people making the world a better place and making uh you know putting bad guys where bad guys need to go but there's there's something that i felt about i don't know if it's because everybody knew it was the last season but i felt like there was just more more of them more heart and more uh really, really wanting to make the world a better place in this last season and uh, really striving for excellence. And and it was kind of a, a joy to experience with the filming and to watch. And I think we're going to see a, a lot of that, a lot, it will be a lot more inspiring for our viewers to go on throughout their lives as better people. That's amazing. And can you share any particular challenge that you have faced portraying Maria Baez and how you overcame them? Um, you know, I think the the one challenge that that I had was, but it was it was wasn't a challenge that had much to do about the character, but it was a personal challenge for me was relocating to the East Coast when I'm from the West Coast and being away from my family, which I never expected to be away for that long. And uh, I mean, I would visit, but it's different. And I I started a family on the East Coast and it's just, they, they, it was challenging, uh, but for, I, in my own personal life, finding the balance of, of family being far and, and making the family work along with going to work and making a new family at work. That was all challenging, but in the best way possible. That's great. And what impact do you think that the show has had in, in its audience over the years? And how do you feel knowing that you have been part of that experience? Oh, it's just been such a blessing. Um, you know, we we film a lot on the streets of New York City, which is amazing. And New York City, it's just it's it's such a cool place to be. But to actually be filming in New York City, it's just it's it's like a dream come true for me being from L.A. So when we're out in the streets, you notice when I first started 
there weren't crowds, there weren't people, there were people kind of watching like, oh, what are they doing? Kind of interesting. <laughs> and as the years progressed, these crowds got bigger and they had, had to hire more security guards and, and stuff. And these lots of women were <laughs> waiting on the corners for Donnie and everyone was so sweet and so supportive and so kind and just so excited to, to be there, to to witness anything, to meet anyone, to 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 try to get a glimpse of maybe a, an episode that's going to air in the future, and just watching that progression of of the audience's appreciation for the show was it was it was so much fun to watch and to be a part of, and I mean my. I tell Donnie, like, I have smile lines now because of him, because of the show, because I just, I'm always happy and smiling. And we're on set in New York City and these people are so happy to be there. So I'm happy to be there. I'm happy to give them something, get put more into this show for them, you know? That's beautiful. Um, do you have any projects or future plans that you can share with us after the this final season of Blue Bloods? I, I wish I, I had something great coming or I wish I could say, no, Maria Baez, Baez is going to stick around for the next 15 years, but I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I just relocated back to the West Coast and I'm getting uh, my feet planted again and, and we'll see what happens. I, I really don't know. I'm hoping for something as amazing, nothing will ever be truly as, as amazing as it was, but I am looking for something great too. Well, we wish you the best of, of Thank everything. You. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, it's Marissa Ramirez from Blue Bloods and the next season, the final season is coming soon. Please watch it. Thank you so much, Marisa. It was a pleasure to meet you. You too. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you,